Hello YouTube, so today I'll be showing what's in my dock in addition to the status bar up here because my dock has not changed significantly since that time. So starting off in my dock, here I have Safari which is a general search browser on Mac, Google Chrome, again I have a video on the extensions in Google Chrome, I use this because it's faster and now it's retina optimized for my retina MacBook Pro, standard mail lab notes dictionary, screenflow which I use for video editing, it's a very strong tool, it allows me to edit my videos and it also allows me to uh, record the screen with audio, to record the screen with um, voice, to different forms and different monitors. Uh, pages, this is the older version of Pages because I dislike the current version of Pages. It allows me to make different documents with different layouts. There's a, a variety of different flyers and business cards, reports. It's very easy to use and efficient. And it's also written optimized. So it's just something I enjoy using versus, for example, Microsoft Office. This is the App Store from Mac and iTunes. This is for downloading applications. Again, it's standard. Same with iTunes. It's just the game Minecraft. This is the previous version of iMovie. Again, because I do not like the current version of iMovie, the new one, I just find this is easier to use. Code Runner, which I have a video for, is a simple programming software which allows you to go through different languages. It's just very easy to use again. So here you, um, you put the code in here, and then all you do afterwards is just click Run in Java, and it'll output here and tells you the runtime. And you can specify the language to anything you want. It's a very light program, and it's nice to use, nice clean interface, and it's fairly cheap. This is Parallels Desktop. Parallels Desktop is a virtualization software, which means that it allows me to use different OSs alongside. So I could be running Windows XP alongside Mac OS X, which would be a benefit to me because I use programs on Microsoft that's not available on Mac OS X. Similarly with Ubuntu, I have different videos on this on my channel if you're more interested in that. Then I have iMessage, which is communicating with friends. Skype, which is just normally talking with people. This is, if you don't know, it's like a video chatting program. Activity Monitor is a standard application, once again which essentially tells me what applications are running at the current time. Here I just have an applications here, which shows all my applications, so in case I want to load them up, I can just load them up from there. Now coming at the top here, this is ScreenFlow running, so I can pause, record, and hide desktop icons. Now this is clear day, so I have a video on this. It tells me directly the weather. So I'm currently living in Toronto. It tells me for severe weather alerts, the temperature, humidity, wind, it tells me that it degrees as it's warming up, so as there's snow outside, it'll probably be melting around Thursday when it'll be 4 degrees slash 2 degrees. Then here I see it's a little bit rainy and here a little snow on Sunday. And here I have the hour. You can also see the wind gusts, etc, etc. And then you have a classic menu and you can open clear day, which is just the full-on program. It also turns red once you have a notification here that something happens. And this is fully customizable. Next up would be free RAM. So free RAM essentially allows you to free up some RAM. So here are some usage details. It tells you how much free, inactive, etc. You click on free memory. It runs on. And essentially what it does is it purges your RAM from Unix level. So this isn't really fake. It just allows you to have more free memory. Usually it works if you're running a lot of programs at once. You can save up 2 gigs of RAM. So it's very nice. Usually that's used for caching. So... Sometimes it's not really to your advantage, but so here I save 580 megabytes, which is significant. This is this is menu bar. So, so essentially what menu bar does is for Facebook, it allows you to see Facebook within the small little mirror. So if I were to be using pages, I'm typing up a document and I want to see something instantly from Facebook, I just click up here, log in, and I can message people from here, etc. etc. It's just very easy to use and convenient. This is just voice memos, allows me to um, take a voice memo, and then, yeah, that's all it really allows you to do. This is just Hamachi, so it allows you to um, control the different servers, mainly used for Minecraft. You can basically build your own network. This is CPU status bar, so essentially what this does is it allows you to have these little icons, and when you're using the CPU more, they turn different colors depending on the CPU usage. So it's just very nice. You can fully customize this. You can change it to different designs. You can change the temperature scale. And you can purchase more additional content. 
And the rest of the standard guys. This is time machine. This is Bluetooth, Wi-Fi. This is just speaker, battery, life, and the standard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you find this helpful. And subscribe and like this video for more. Thanks.